In this video segment, I'm going to review the procedures to complete this lesson. To begin with, I'll create the geometry of the part and then move on to set up the stock to be machined. Now, over on the left in the Toolpaths Manager, I'm going to click on the icon to Total Display on Selected Operations to turn off the display of the Toolpaths. Now, when it comes time to create the geometry, we'll be using Rectangle to create these two rectangles that you see on the screen. Now we'll also be using fillet entities to create the fillet radii on the four corners. Now the red dash lines represent the stock and the stock dimensions are three by three by quarter inch thick. Now over on the left I'm going to click on the icon to toggle display on selected operations to turn back on the display of the toolpaths. What I'm going to do now is check out these two toolpaths in Verify. Now the first operation is a drill operation and we'll be using a 1 8th, 1 8th diameter center cutting flat end mill. The second operation is a contour operation and the end mill we're using here is a half inch diameter flat end mill. Now I've got both operations selected as indicated by the check mark. Let's go into verify now. I'm going to click on verify selected operations. Now I'm just going to pan the work up just a touch and all I'm doing is holding the shift key down and the middle mouse button. Now I'm going to move on down to the bottom and click on the play button. Now first up I'm going to drill the four holes with a 1 8 diameter center cutting end mill. After the drilling operation I'll move on and create the tool path to rough and finish the contour using a half inch diameter flat end mill. Our final task in this lesson will be to verify the tool paths and then create the CNC code. Now what I'm going to do is over on the left I'm going to click on the rewind button I'm going to verify this part again. Now before I hit the play button I'm going to move on up to the upper left and click on the view tab and in the viewport section I'm going to click on two views in column. Now this right view I'm just going to zoom in and pan in a little closer. So let's go ahead now and hit play. So when we machine the console we're going to rough and finish. I'm going to go ahead do a rewind. I'm going to get four views. So what we can do is click in each view. I'm going to click in this lower right here. I'm going to pan in on this isometric view. The lower left. I'm going to zoom in a touch and let's hit the play button. So this is the 1 8 diameter center cutting end mill and we're machining right through the part. Now I can move into a view, rotate it around. And there's our verification complete. Now I'm going to move up into viewports and click on single view. I'm going to move up to the upper right now and close verify down. Now that completes this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be talking with you soon. Bye for now.